Stuber is a new movie with Michael Dowse, and it stars Kamel Johnny and Dave Batista. The movie revolves about a cop who's trying to catch a cop killer. Unfortunately, he's partially blind, so he needs help. So he calls upon an Uber driver named Stu, and these two basically go on this wild ride in the adventure to catch this cop killer. I mean, Kamel and Johnny's a really funny guy, and I also love Dave Batista. So when I heard these two were collaborating together, I thought, man, this seems like such a great movie. So the trailers are great and everything. I was excited about this movie, and I. Damn it, I realized. I need a partner for this movie, but I don't know. If only I can call on someone to snap up a. Holy Ooh, shit! Where am I? You need my help? Aw, oh, man, I guess so. Here's my review of Stuber. The thing about comedies is that, especially in one like this, this movie relies on the chemistry between the two leads. And thankfully, Kamel Johnny and Dave Batista absolutely kill it in these two roles. These two are so hilarious in these two roles. Like, Kamel Johnny gives his natural sense of comedy like he does before, but Dave Batista really is becoming his own as an actor, really carrying his movie comedically. He's doing so good. And these two together are a recipe of success. These two make the movie that much more funny and that much more likable from their both their chemistry and their charisma throughout the film. I agree with you. This movie was one of the funniest movies I've seen in 2019. The combination of these two actors make the movie very funny and I recommend everyone to go and watch it. Yeah, to expand upon your point, I thought this movie was so funny. Like, let me tell you, sure there's some jokes in the beginning that didn't really land for me, but throughout the film, I was laughing hard, hysterically, mostly from Kamal Namjali and Dave Bautista's performance, but throughout the film, I had such a great time just from the comedy alone, it was great. And to be honest, the pacing was very solid for this movie. Like, it's an hour and 45 minutes long, I didn't feel it at all. It went very fast, very breakneck speed. It was very funny, very consistent, and I had such a great time watching this. I agree. This movie was very interesting, and even the crowd was really cheering and really laughing mm -hmm. because the amount of action that went through this movie made it absolutely very fast in pace and very interesting and funny, and I really agree with you. And to be honest, while this movie is a great comedy in itself, the movie has some pretty touching parts to it. Like, it does allow you to care about the characters itself. Like, you, you get establishment for Dave Bautista's character and Kamel Johnny's character, and you really get this sense of character development, which makes you actually care about the characters in the end. And there's some very touching parts of the movie that makes it stand out a little more than just a really raunchy, R-rated comedy that the film already is. My only real problem with this movie is that the action at times could be a bit poor. Now, there's some great action near the end of the movie and everything, but in the beginning especially, there's some terrible action. Like, this is hand-to-hand -hand fight between Dave Bautista and this other guy, and like, I get the artistic intent of shaking the camera a bit to give some frenetic energy, but at the same time, it was done way too much. Like, I felt like I couldn't see much of the action, and I couldn't tell what was going on at all. I agree with you. The first scene, the action was not the best, but in my opinion, it's a comedy movie. Action does not really matter as much as big action movies like Mission Impossible, Avengers, and so on. Yeah, you know, that is a good point to make, but still, I felt like the action was a bit poor. And to be honest, this movie is a bit generic. Like, while this movie has a good heart to it, it goes through the cliche formula of the two together, and how it resolved, and how the story goes. Also, this guy really did predict a lot of parts of the movie by the end. Yes, but so is every other movie, you know? Every movie is predictable, but this movie was a little bit more predictable than any other movie usually. But the movie was honestly overall great. Yeah, I also overall really enjoyed this movie. I'm gonna give Stuber an 8 out of 10. And what do you give this movie? I also give it an 8 out of 10. Wow, we came to agreement. Uh, this is a really funny movie. It's really great. It's such a fun time. Kamel and John and did give a really great performance. Overall, when this movie comes out on July 12th, check it out. You guys are gonna have a really good time with it. All right. right, is that it? That's it, pal. All right, thank you very much for helping me out. Now, no excuse me. All right, guys, thank you guys for enjoying this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like, favorite, and subscribe. Click the notification bell, alert to brand new videos, and comment below. Tell me, guys, thought of the video. You guys encourage me to make way more videos in the future. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.